Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. Canelo Alvarez abusing a sparring partner on his birthday. What up, Fight World? It's your boy, Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest. If you want to become part of the gang gang notification gang, please hit that bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats, the channel donations, and the Patreon patrons. We working. Now, first, I got to start off this video by saying happy birthday to Saul. I was born ready. Canelo Alvarez. Today's his birthday. If you follow him on social media, make sure you go wish him a happy birthday at Canelo, right? He's on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, all that stuff. And he turns 27 today. The clips you've seen at the beginning was clips from today of Canelo in training for obviously the fight with Gennady Golovkin, September 16th. And although I don't know who he's sparring, he was piecing that dude up. That dude looked visibly bigger than Canelo. Again, I don't know who it is or what the guy's pedigree is, but when you're sparring, especially for a high-profile fight, an HBO pay-per-view fight, that type of fight, then I'm pretty sure you're trying to get good work. You're not trying to just bring in nobody, you know what I'm saying? That's why they, you try to get people to fit the profile. So Golovkin's obviously taller than Canelo, and so is this opponent. And Canelo is letting his hands go. Thing I really like about Canelo, you can tell he's been scrapping for years. And the reason I could tell is because he's so damn calm. I was even impressed. I never thought he was gonna beat Floyd Mayweather, but I was impressed how at age 23, like I forget how young he was, you know what I'm saying? And that's no excuse. I'm not using it to make excuse. Floyd dogged him, we already know that. But what I'm saying is, I was impressed even back then that he was 23 and he didn't look nervous. It didn't look like the moment was getting too big for him. I remember at the weigh-in, Floyd tried to offer him the belt, the WBC belt or something, and he was like, nah, I ain't taking it. You know what I'm saying? And, and front, fronted on Floyd, stuff like that. So you, you, at times you forget how young Canelo is, right? Canelo, I think, is younger than Broner. He's, he just turned 27. So again, happy birthday. And the other thing that's impressive aside from the sparring and letting his hands go, is it's his birthday. That shows you the maturity. That shows you where Canelo's head's at. Because some people, no matter what, even working regular jobs, they can work at JC Penney's, right? Bed Bath & Beyond. If it's their birthday, they're probably not working. But these fighters, they do a lot, you know what I'm saying, in terms of discipline, Thanksgiving, and don't spend time with their family or don't eat crazy because they know they have an upcoming fight or it's his birthday and you see him sparring and training like in the clips earlier in this video. I respect that. I respect workers, I pe people who work for their dreams. That's me. I respect hustles. And I mean, I can't take nothing away from Canelo working on his birthday. Some people don't do that. Some people just, oh, I'll just take the day off and we'll catch up tomorrow, right? So I don't know what he has planned, but I think that's cool. Now, this doesn't mean he's going to win the fight, but the I like the mindset. You know what I mean? I told you I'm picking Canelo. I did an Ego Weight Watcher video, a.k.a. Ew, yesterday. And to me, a picture surfaced of Gennady Golovkin shirtless. He's filming that promo commercial. They're doing some kind of maybe for the cable networks or for the you know how they have the jumbotrons in the arena and stuff i don't know but they're filming some kind of vintage style 1930s 1950s chicago gangster type of vintage look commercial so there are some behind the scenes photos that 
from the day, from the event, from the photo shoot, video shoot. And I did an Ego Weight Watcher video. I, I keep it real with you. Golovkin, he looked a bit soft. Does he have plenty of time to get in shape? Sure. I expect him to do that. He's a professional. You're getting paid millions of dollars to fight Canelo. So I think he'll come ready. I mean, Golovkin in the past, I don't remember him looking tubby or, you know what I mean, messed up at the weigh-in. But I'm just making the observation right now. It looks like he has some work. And some people in that video make excuses. They're saying stuff like, oh, would you expect him to be in shape already, Ego? Well, you just seen the clip of Canelo, and that motherfucker looks like he's in shape. So it's not out of the question to be in shape. Now, Canelo looks in shape. I, he didn't look flabby in that clip at the beginning. Go play this video back. You know what I mean? Rewind it. He didn't look flabby. Does he have weight to cut? I'm pretty sure he does. So Canelo's not at his fight weight, but he still didn't look soft. You know what I'm saying? He's probably too big where he, he's not going to make 160 at this current weight. But a lot of y'all make excuses. For me, I'm just looking forward to a good fight. I don't know. Canelo might be special. This is this is the fight that's going to prove it. You know what I mean? He came up short versus Floyd Mayweather. And sometimes in life, we get second chances. So this, to me, is his second chance. Even though Floyd doesn't fight like Golovkin, this is the, the biggest threat to him at this point of his career. You know what I mean? Based on perception. Based on what people feel. You know what I mean? So... If he looks good in this fight, then you got to give it to him. He's clearly the biggest star. Floyd already told you. He's like, man, basically, it's a young man's game. Canelo, he's one of the faces of boxing. These training camps are too grueling. You know what I mean? So after this, Connor, I'm, you know what I mean? I'm about to rob the bank and then I'm out. So that leaves guys like Canelo, right? And I'm looking forward to it because, I don't know. This is what boxing needs. We need to develop the young stars. And like I said, if Golovkin beats Canelo fair and square, then he gets all the credit. Now you can no longer say he has no one on his resume. You can't say this and that. So good, meaningful fight for boxing. I'm juiced. Canelo looks ready. It's his birthday. He's still training. Let me know your thoughts, your fight predictions. I got I got a lot of stuff coming. So just, just hit that subscribe button. Make sure you smash the like button as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.